you guys, uh, as you know, the greatest day in history happened recently, and um, I got a lot of stuff from a lot of people, and I was going to show off some of it. I, I, I already did. Uh, one of which is this hat, because this is my new cooking hat now. Because uh, if you follow along, um, then you know about my secret sauce that involves the Old Bay hot sauce. Uh, it's Old Bay hot sauce and avocado mayonnaise, and it is... Mwah. Try it. Trust me. But, obviously, uh, I'm not going to get to everything under the sun that I got, but... Um, I wanted to show you a few things. Now, unbeknownst to everyone, because I, I don't think everyone talks to everyone, I'm assuming, <laughs> it was a very Darth Vader-themed birthday. Uh, firstly, though, a new uh, mug. So, if you guys know me, I only use two, basically two different coffee mugs in the morning. One is a hand-spun pottery... South Dakota mug, uh, and the other is, um, well, a Star Wars mug. But look, skull, you guys. Yep. I have to be proud of them right now because the season hasn't started yet. Also, I got several decks of cards, um, a few of them. But I did one of them. So, Theory 11 makes these Star Wars decks. I have a few of the other colors, but I got some of the ones that uh, I didn't previously have. So, that's a thing. Um, I got tons of decks of cards, though, because I collect, like, designer decks. Uh, and another thing that I got, which is really cool, is this... Um, commemorative metal plaque of Darth Vader telling Luke that he's his father. And this is like one of 9,995. Only a few of these were made and it came with this little stand and it's going on the shelf that you guys saw in the Star Wars Day video where I was showing off some of my favorite things. So don't worry, I'll, tr I'll try to make a video of this. I gotta figure out how to do it exactly. But uh, a Lego um, Darth Vader head. This can go to the collection with the 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 Death Star. Goes hand in hand, right? I got a Darth Vader piggy bank. I barely ever carry change anymore, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to fill this for a rainy day. Like I said, plenty of playing cards. I got Darth Vader shaped playing cards. Uh, I got a Darth Vader Christmas ornament. And uh, with the Darth Vader tree topper, um, this is going to go great. So you'll see a video of that again this year, I'm sure. Or if you follow me on socials, obviously that stuff goes on there. Hey Darth Vader is, uh, is my YouTube channel better than Charlie's because I actually post on it. Yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. Can you guys see that it says yes, definitely? I swear, look. <laughs> I got some uh, cooking utensils. You guys know I love cooking. Look at this. A, a Star Wars set of cooking utensils. This cool... Um... Hmm. Seems to be dead already. Anyway, this is a Simon Says game that uh, we've played so much that I have to take the battery, or I have to change the batteries already. But trust me, it's just that regular one that you played when you were a kid, where you got to copy the, the stuff. Amongst the decks of cards, I got these, guys. <clears throat> Look at, I put the Queen of Spades card in front. Jumbo playing cards. I don't even know if they fan very well. <laughs> Not going to be very good at doing uh, many cardistry things with this. I wonder if I could even do the card spin. Hmm. And you guys, one of the things I'm actually the most pumped about, um, 
because, well, two things. I don't know if you guys watched on the Up Up Down Down channel where I lost a game I should have won and the BRE would have held all the power, but um, in an attempt to thwart such things from happening, I got this uh, console that is actually an emulator. It runs 80 emulators. So there's like something like 40,000 retro games on here. So the chances of this having a game that we would ever play are awesome. And I also got this uh, Bluetooth controller to go with it because I was told uh, this got rave reviews, but I was also told two things about it. One, there's one setting to change on it to make the frame rates a little better, and that the controllers that come with this aren't the best and that this one works better. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll give my review on this if I get around to it. Um, I'm going to be setting that up. I just have to find a place to set it up. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it was a pretty raging day. I, uh, I did the, I slept in, I did the old birthday, um, old school Muay Thai workout for any of you that used to ever train, uh, on my fight team. I did the old birthday workout and, um, watched Clone Wars all day and unintentionally a very Star Wars themed birthday, but, uh, yeah. Nothing fancy. Tonight I just have a beer that I brewed myself um, almost a year ago. I've just kept it in the in storage. Oh, it's still good, though. It's the Queen of Spades Lockdown Brown Ale. Because I made it during the, the, the lockdown last year. So, it's a brown ale. So, think like a, I don't know, like a moose drool. It's pretty simple. I've only ever brewed a beer one time, and it was an easy brew, so the first time making my own pick-your-own-ingredients beer, I wanted to do something easy, and a brown ale, ale is pretty easy, but it's pretty good. It's not bad, I must say. But, thank you guys for everyone that participated, everyone that commented, um, for all the offerings to help celebrate the greatest day in history, which is the day of... My birth, of course. Duke will be back in town, so we'll get back to regularly scheduled programming. And I'll see you guys next time.